sign up for free Stratfor Intelligence. Simply enter your email address to receive two free reports each week. NATO continues to deliberate on how to take over operations in Libya from the United States. But what's becoming quite clear is that Europeans themselves are not on the same page in terms of how to intervene in Libya. The fundamental problem for the Europeans is that they didn't intervene in Libya for the same reasons to begin with. One thing that does unify all European countries currently in Libya is that their initial response to the Arab Spring, to the uh, pro-democracy revolutions across the region, has been relatively tame. And therefore, the Libyan intervention is a way to overcompensate for the initial very tepid responses. In France, there is another factor. French President Nicolas Sarkozy is quite unpopular, and he seems to gain a lot of popularity every time he goes into a foreign affairs overdrive. He did so during the 2008 Georgian War, when he negotiated a peace deal between Russia and Georgia, and he also did that right after the financial crisis, when he called for a new Bretton Woods. These maneuvers actually help his popularity in France, in London, the initially bungled response to the unrest in Libya, and specifically the evacuations of British citizens, has been part of the reason for why the current government has been pushing for an aggressive action in Libya. However, France and the UK, the two European countries that have been most vociferous supporters of an armed intervention in Libya, also have different reasons. For the UK, it has to do with energy, and specifically the fact that BP will have to look for new producing fields following their disaster in the Gulf of Mexico. And for France, it has to do with intra-European politics and showing Germany and the rest of Europe that France still matters, specifically that France is still a crucial leader in Europe when it comes to military and foreign affairs. The problem now that the Europeans have actually intervened in Libya is that the French and the UK leadership on the issue has put them in a camp of countries that want to be more aggressive on the ground in Libya, specifically want to see Libyan ground troops targeted by airstrikes. However, the other European countries, specifically Italy, but also countries like Netherlands and Norway, are far more skeptical of the utility of ground strikes, and they want the European mission in Libya to really concentrate only on enforcing the no-fly zone. This is a fundamental disagreement, because it means that it is not clear how the United States is supposed to hand over the control of operations to Europeans who have different views of what should actually be done on the ground.